Step 1. Create Table in Oracle I will be using the Sales Sample Data Excel file for import operation. Identify the column names and data types. Let's quickly try to create SQL statement with columns and data types. Copy the top to rows. First row for column names and second row for sample data. Paste with transpose in new sheet. You can identify the data type of each column. As column names contain space, we will have to use double inverted commas for column names in the query. Enter double inverted comma in column C. Enter double inverted commas and space in column D. Enter data type of each column in column E. The first five columns have data type Varchar 2. You can change the size based on column values. Order date and ship date are date columns, rest all are numerical columns. Now, let's concatenate all these columns with commas in the end. Copy concatenation in all rows by dragging cell F2. All the columns with data type are ready for create statement. Copy all row values from column F. Go to SQL Developer. Open the new SQL tab. Type create statement and paste the column names copied from Excel sheet. Remove the last comma. Run the query. Table sales has been created. Let's check the sales table by refreshing the connection. Make sure all columns are available with correct data type. Now, let's import the data from Excel file. Right-click on Sales table and click on Import Data. Select the Source Excel file. I think I did not close the Excel file. You cannot select the file if it's already open. Let me close the file and try again. Usually, you don't need to change file format options here, but you can check if header checkbox is checked and correct format is selected. Click Next. Click Next. Select the columns to import from the data set. I won't remove anything as I want to import data for all columns. Click Next. Here, you can observe that SQL Developer replaced space in the column names with underscore. You can manually map the column names or select match by position. As we have maintained the column order from Excel into Oracle, all errors are gone now. Cross-check if all column names are correctly mapped. Click Next. Click Finish. Data import is complete. You can see data is available in the table now. Now, let's export the data from Oracle to Excel. Run the select query on Sales table. Right-click in the Output window and select Export. Select Excel in the Format drop-down. Save the output file with the file name you want. Click Next.
Click Finish. You can check the exported data in the Excel file. If you face any kind of error while following steps, please mention error details in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like Facebook page.